It's the most incredible manicure ever! But there's more! <laughs> They're musical! Wow. <laughs> I call them Glamicures! They're the greatest! The very best! Most creative salon beautification! This is the greatest thing ever. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And here you go, Lemon. And thank you for the wonderful Glamicure. <sighs> this is the greatest beautification success I've ever had. Mr. Longface. Just having a little swim. The weather's so nice. 
<laughs> oh well. Uh, it it was nice weather. So, uh, how do you like your glamicure? Oh, it's just um uh wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. And waterproof. <gasps> waterproof? Oh, is that so? Yeah. Won't wash off, no matter how hard you scrub. <laughs> how lucky for us. <laughs> nice here and there, but all day and all night? I can't think straight. Try dancing to two tunes at the same time. The one you're supposed to dance to and the one coming from your glamicure. I think people aren't coming to the store as much because they're getting tired of the glamicure music. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Oh, <gasps> maybe Raspberry and Blueberry can think of something. Good idea. In the meantime, let's get out of here. So, what do we do now? I don't know. What can we do? You say you want a pan of stew? No, I said what can we do? Well, the first thing we can do is get rid of these earmuffs. They're almost as bad as the Glamicures. So, what do we do? Okay. Everybody hold your hands very still. <sighs> Look, we have to tell Lemon that these things just aren't working out. But how could we do that? She's so proud of them. I know. I've never seen her so thrilled about something. It would hurt her feelings to learn the truth. I'm not gonna be the one to tell her. If she found out that we don't like her glamicures, well, she, she, <gasps> she might stop giving manicures altogether. Why, she might even stop giving hair stylings. And she might not speak to us ever again. She might close the salon and move away. And it'd be our fault for being so cruel. You're right. Strawberry'd never do something like that. She's too considerate. Yeah, yeah that's you're true. Right. She's really yeah. nice about things like this. I take back what I said about telling Lemon. I would go to the ends of the earth rather than hurt her feelings. I would go beyond the ends of the earth. Well, I would. Uh, I would. I would put up with my glamour forever. Us too. It's decided. We'll never tell Lemon her glamicures are driving us crazy. Right! It's a really simple step, Orange. Just do exactly what I do. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Three, one, two, three, four. One, three, two, seven, eight. The signal for nap time, nothing is. Huh? What? for a picnic, but they haven't shown. That's odd. I wonder what happened. It seems as if Blueberry and Plum have been avoiding me, too. I wonder if they're mad at me. Mad at you? Maybe I did something wrong, or maybe they just don't like me anymore. I don't see how anyone couldn't like you. I know. How about if I do my pruning later, and I'll picnic with you? Oh, Strawberry, thank you. And then 
then, when we're done, you could go by the other girls' places and ask them if everything's okay. Ask them? Oh, oh my, no. I couldn't do that. I know it's scary sometimes to ask difficult questions, but wouldn't you rather know the truth than imagine bad things? Oh, but what if the truth is something just terrible? Could it be more terrible than what you're already afraid of? Maybe they don't like me anymore? Well, uh, I guess you have a point. What if you ask them for me? Uh, I think it's better coming from you. More direct, you know? But I'll be happy to go with you if you'd like. I'll think about it. After our picnic. Sounds good. Hey, look! Strawberry had the same idea. <laughs> Gardening gloves. That's good. But isn't she afraid Lemon will catch on? Oh, oh, oh looks like she's taking them off. Oh, poor Strawberry. Such a kind soul to picnic with Lemon and endure that <gasps> music. Oh, I feel so bad avoiding Lemon's invitation for a picnic. Uh, me too. But I just couldn't bear to listen to my Glamicure. Be strong. We made a vow to live with our Glamicures and not tell Lemon. No matter how tired we are, no matter how many picnics we have to miss. Deal? Deal. You're right, Strawberry. I have to talk to my friends. And now's as good a time as any. But you'll come along, right? Sure. Whoops! Oops! Oh, oh no! Uh, got it! Oh, uh, thanks, Lemon! Oh, hi, Strawberry! Just drop by to see if everything's, you know, okay. Okay? Well, sure. What wouldn't be okay? Everything's just great. Oh, sorry about the picnic. Just got so busy in the store. Oh, I see. That's fine. Strawberry joined me. Uh, so is your Glamicure working okay? Okay? Well, sure. Lights nice and bright? So bright, you almost need sunglasses. <laughs> oh, good. Plenty of music? Ooh, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> well, thanks. I just wanted to see if everything was okay. As okay as an O and a K can be. Cookbook. Hi, Blueberry. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. Um, is this a bad time? Is everything okay, Blueberry? Okay? Uh, couldn't be better. Why, I was just sorting books to the tune of my glamic here. <laughs> Oh, good. I was just... Well, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. I just wanted to make sure I didn't do anything to... Well, you know, bother you? Bother me? Why, no, no! Okay, that's good. Well, I'll see you around then. Nice to see you, Lemon! Strawberry! <sighs> that was close. Bosley! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my. <sighs> Hi, Raspberry. What are you sewing? Oh. Everything okay, Raspberry? What are you making? Oh, just stuff. You know, stuff. Just, uh, trying my new over, under, through, and back stitch. <laughs> 
Did I mention how much I love my glamicure? Thanks, Plum. See you later. You were right. Everything is fine. I think. You think? Well, everyone said so, but I had a teeny tiny feeling that maybe something wasn't right. Huh. Oh well, it must have just been me. I guess. I'm just glad that you spoke to everyone. That took courage, Lemon. Thanks. Yeah, I do feel better. I guess. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Poor things. I'm sure you're wondering why I asked you here. I need your help with something. <gasps> Look! Strawberry? Where'd they go? What happened to your glamicure? Oh, it wasn't working out for me. It was a little too bright and distracting. <gasps> I know! I can't dance with it. I can't stack my shelves. I can't sleep. And it clashes with everything I wear. How did you get rid of it? We tried everything. Soap and water, ketchup and peanut butter. How'd, How'd you, you do, do it? it? I just told Lemon how I felt, and she removed it. You told her? But, 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 but is she all right? Oh, did it break her heart? Oh, Strawberry, how could you? I just figured that part of being a good friend is having the courage to give constructive criticism. You know, telling them the truth about something so they can do better the next time. And the other part is taking that criticism in a friendly way, <laughs> which Lemon did. She's fine. Oh, it was driving me crazy. I couldn't think straight. I wanted to hide my head under a pillow. I tried that. It didn't work. But we've been putting up with it because, well, so we wouldn't have to tell Lemon. We kind of avoided it. Completely. We even kind of avoided Lemon. I know. She told me. She was worried you might be upset with her. Oh, no. That's just awful. Poor Lemon. And she even dropped by today to make sure everything was okay between us. And I didn't tell her the truth. Well, there's only one thing to do. You'll just have to tell her. Could we? We... we won't make her feel... bad? You can't make her feel worse than you did by hiding from her. I guess. Yes, we should. We definitely better. I agree. We really ought to... Tell Lemon the truth! <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? You go. Now you go. After you. No, you. Wow, do you all need appointments right now? Come on. It's what friends do. It's the... uh... the glamicures. We kind of think they sort of aren't right for us. Not right? Stop it! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing, but why? <laughs> I never, <laughs> I never realized how bothersome these glamicures could be. Whew. We didn't hurt your feelings. Well, I'm disappointed they didn't work out, but I really wish you'd told me sooner. I mean, you're my friends. I'd rather you were honest with me. I'm sorry we weren't. I've got a great idea. New and improved Super Glamicures! Uh, super uh, Glamicures? Really? Uh, I don't um, know. Don't worry. I'll listen to any suggestions you have. Ooh, ooh, controllable colors. And a way to change the tune. Oh, a way to change the beat. A way to turn them off. Yeah! yeah. All great ideas. Yeah! Especially the off switch. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> now, where'd you go 
code this time. Go get it. Go get it, Mermelie. Fetch the ball. Good girl. Now, bring it back. That's it. Bring it back. Oh, not again. No, Marmalade! Marmalade? Huh? Marmalade! Huh? Where's your ball? Oh, you want another ball, huh? I've been trying to teach you to fetch, not hide. We're running out of balls. Now this time, bring it back, okay? Oh, uh. Bring it back, bring it back, Marmalade, to me. Bring it here, to me. To me? Good girl, good girl. <laughs> huh? Naughty girl, naughty girl. Now where do you think you're going with that? Morning, Orange. Oh, hi. What's wrong? Oh, Cherry, I've been trying all morning to teach Marmalade to fetch balls, but all she does is run off with them. I don't know where she goes, but when she comes back, the balls are gone. Huh? There you are. Where have you been? This is our last ball. Cinepup knows how to fetch. Maybe if she showed Marmalade how. Oh, that's a great idea, Cherry. Worth a try. Cinepup! Wanna play fetch the ball? Huh? Fetch the ball? Go get it, girl! Good it go! Catch! Uh, 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 uh. Marmalade? Where did you go? Marmalade! Oh, what has gotten into that puppy? Where does she go? You know, Strawberry helped me teach Cinepup how to fetch. Maybe if you asked her, she could help you with Marmalade. I'll take her to see Strawberry. Soon as she comes back, that is. Marmalade! Oh! <laughs> Come on, you. We're going to visit Strawberry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love you, too. Come on. Want to see Strawberry? <gasps> Let's go see Strawberry. Enjoy the eye mask, and uh, I'm gonna add some extra special berry conditioning, a uh, conditioner, to your new hairdo. Uh, sure. Okay, Lemon. Now, Plum, just lie back and enjoy that eye mask. <laughs> Uh, it feels like you're rinsing me, not putting in conditioner. Well, it works best wet, you know. But why 
Why did you just dry our hair then? Um, relaxation? Let's just use the, uh, handheld dryer this time, okay? Is something wrong, Lemon? No! Why do you ask? what you're doing to fix things, but could we have just a minute of quiet so we can figure out what we're going to do with the rest of the day? Oh, uh, sure. No problem. You got it. I vote we wait around in Soundproof Blueberry's bookstore and... It might not be practical. Ride our scooters to Berry Biddydale and back? And, uh, 
Back again? We need juice power for that, too. I vote we spend the entire day bored. No! Okay, bored and frustrated. No! I mean, this is a great opportunity. For what? Something new. Something exciting. Fun, different. Like... Like... Hmm. Our own sporting event. What kind of sporting oh. event? Well, I don't know. How about a relay race? Our own very bitty relay race. Huh. Uh -huh. Interesting. And why bitty? Why not go for very, very big? A relay race on land, on water, and in the sky. Yeah! We'll have teams. We'll start at the lake with a sailboat race. Yeah! And then you pass the baton to the next team. Uh, uh... <gasps> a steeplechase on frogs! Yeah! Fun! Great! Wow! Sounds wonderful! And then they pass the baton to the third team. A sky race! Flying on birds! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I like that. Strawberry really sound fun. Like that. All in favor? <laughs> well then, I guess it's unanimous. Come on, let's go. I oh, can't wow. wait. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Come on, let's go. Huh? Hey, where do you think you're going? To watch the sporting event of the year? Where else? Do you want to miss it? No, but oh, we can't. We got a job to do. Oh, uh, just for a little while. If the boss saw us leave, we'd be in trouble. But if he didn't see us leave... Keep at it! We have to find that blockage! Careful, Earl! There he is! Quick, before he sees us! Cherry is racing for Team 1, and Plum for Team 2. Okay, you zigzag through those buoys to the other side of the lake. Then turn around, and it's a straight shot back to the dock. Good luck! You're gonna do it! We'll be cheering for ya! Think win! On your mark... Get set! <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's not a toy. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to teach her. <laughs> That's okay. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go! We'll know when we get to the lake. Well, how? I can't see where we're going. <sighs> Look down, Earl. What do you see? My feet. And what else? Your feet. Ugh. What else, Earl? Rocks? Right! Rocks! When we get to the lake, we'll look down and see lake! <laughs>
But this turned out to be a, a bigger job than we thought. Oh, yeah, um, uh, really big. But we'll have everything up and running by morning. Guaranteed. No problem. If it isn't finished, I'm sure we'll find a way to entertain ourselves. You can say that. Yes, yes, that's right. right. Well, I'm tired. How about you guys? Ooh, I'm not a for bed. bed. Oh, can't wait for tomorrow. Marmalade? 
Princess Berrykin is always the one to plant the zippy grow geranium seed when the last snow berrykin is melted. I know. Of all the times to be called away by the Biddy Berry Growers Association to Berry Big City. But I'm sure it must have been very urgent. There's no way around it. It's up to you, Berrykin Bloom, to plant the first flower of spring. Mm -hmm. oh. Can bloom. There he is. <laughs> Time for the Berry Fest Spring Festival. <laughs> According to my history and mystery of Berry Bitty City, first edition. There has to be a Berryfest princess. And Princess Berrykin has been Berryfest princess since the beginning of the book. So who's gonna do it now? <gasps> the Berryfest princess has great responsibilities. She must organize and manage and lead the festival. And she must... Plant the events! Judge all the flowers! Smell all the flowers! Know all about spring! Not to mention the Wanderberry! And of course, she must ride in the front of a parade in a beautiful carriage. That's, That's for me. How will we ever choose? Uh, draw straws? A quick game of musical chairs? Find someone with a name that rhymes with drum? It was just a thought. Well, there's only one way to be fair. Berry Bitty City must do something it's never done before. <laughs> Have an election. Oh, oh, an election? You know, when I choose someone to work at the post office, they have to show me they can do the job first. Oh, a splendid idea indeed. Let's put the potential candidates through a few tests, Al, eh? to see if they have what it takes to be very fast princess. Yeah! yeah. 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 The first challenge! The very first princess judges the flower contest at the festival. Let's see who knows their flowers. You may proceed. Ah, oh, that's easy. A rose by any other name would still smell as rosy. <laughs> that is correct. I think I have a double begonia. Don't you mean double pneumonia, Katie Buck? No, no, no. Katie Buck was right the first time. It is a begonia. <laughs> the flower is a daisy. And you had three slices of cantaloupe at lunch? Uh, you are right. On both counts. <laughs> What do you call a flower that grows in between your nose and your chin? Tulips. Get it? <laughs> Tulips. Ooh, good answer. And a lackluster joke. Lackluster? What does that mean? He means not so good. Huh. I thought it was a fabulous joke. Well, everyone has different tastes, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> you ate your flower, and you are disqualified. I couldn't help it. I was hungry. I think she ate a honeysuckle. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is a zinnia, a genus of 20 species of annual and perennial plants of family Asteraceae. Hmm. I suppose you are correct. It's a zinnia, at least. Oh, boy. I just don't know. Oh, terribly sorry. It was a daffodil. Oh, shucks. No wonder I missed it. Daffodils aren't in fashion this season. With two down, we now move to our final contest. The Berry Fest princess must know her way around the berry grove so that she can catch the Wanderberry. She must show enough athletic ability and stamina to lead the parade, and she must show an appreciation for growing things. The final contestants must climb a strawberry plant. Pick a strawberry, climb down, plant the strawberry, and water the strawberry. First two to finish, win! <laughs> On your marks, get set, plant! Huh. Now, which one should I climb? That one looks good, but uh, rather high. What if I fall? Oh, uh, that one's nice, but oh, the berry's so big, I might drop it. Let me see. Oh, here it is. 100 ways to gather strawberries. One, use a basket. Two, use a bigger basket. Three, don't use a basket, but use a chair to climb up and then use a basket. Oh, good climbing, Orange. You're fast. You're doing great, too. <laughs> Thank you. Strawberry, get off your vine! I know, I'll dig the hole first, water it, and then get the strawberry. Nice strawberry you picked, Strawberry. I like yours too. Thank you. Uh oh. <laughs> We did it! Just fall! Fall! We have our two candidates! Fall! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Aha! Here it is, number 78. Take a basket in your left hand and one in your right. Oh, we're done already? Sure are. I'm gonna ride in that parade carriage no matter what. Me too. There. Done. Only 199 more to go. Oh, uh, pardon me, Sadiebug. After you. Sorry. Um, let me know you first. <laughs> hey, Strawberry. I've come, come to be your campaign, campaign manager. manager. Uh, well... Hey! I Say that. Well, <laughs> why don't you <laughs> both be my campaign managers and team up? Oh, I would be very glad to have your help. Hmm. I only need 199 more signs made. Dig in. Come again soon and vote for orange. 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 What are you doing? Um, I'm handing out vote for orange buttons. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, huh? uh, give me that. <laughs> As your official campaign manager, these bitty buttons don't tell a big enough message. Campaign manager? Here you go. And you, and you too. <laughs> um, Katie Bug, I'm not sure I need a campaign manager, but I really could use a speechwriter. Know any? 
Don't you worry, soon to be very best princess. I shall take charge and get you the very best. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. There, all done. That looks great, Lemon. Thanks. Oh, how about my side? Um. <laughs> I the one who's running for Berry Fest Princess? Oops. I thought she looked kind of familiar. I'll just redraw all of them. You know, Sadie Bug, what I could use more than posters is a speechwriter. And since Blueberry is so good at writing, maybe you could see if she might help. Got it, Berry Fest Princess to be. I don't know how to say this, but. I'm not sure Sadie Bug and I are in agreement on the best way to help you win. Oh, I'm not sure I'm in agreement about any of this. Hey, Blueberry! What, what are, are you, you doing, doing here? here? I asked you first. No, I did. Well, let's call it a tie. Now, what can I do for you two? You, you have, have to write a speech for my candidate. candidate. It would be odd to write a speech for both candidates. And, well, I'm not sure I've decided who I'm going to vote for yet. My candidate's the best. No, mine is. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Stop! You've, You've decided? decided? Well, no, not yet. But my candidate will let you ride with her in the parade. Uh, so will mine, right up in the front. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I decide. Right in the very front. Like, you couldn't ride in a better place. Yeah. What am I gonna do about this? Strawberry! What's the matter, Blueberry? Who do I write a speech for, Strawberry? You, Orange? I love you both. I don't want to hurt either of your feelings. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, no. The worst thing that ever happened to her? I wonder if anyone else feels like that. I'm so sorry, Strawberry, but you're just going to have to find your election fashion somewhere else. What? It's too upsetting for me to make dresses for both you and Orange. But why? You love making dresses. Well, I tried, but every time I added a great-looking detail to one dress, I felt, to be fair, that I had to go back to the other one and add it to the other to be sure both dresses were equally fantastic. Because uh, I love you both. It's making me crazy. But, Raspberry, any dress you make for me, I'm sure will be terrific. I won't compare it with oranges, and I'm sure Orange won't either. We'll both just be so happy you made our dresses. I don't know what to do. Oh. <gasps> oh, Strawberry, I don't know what to do. You too? What is it, Plum? I don't know who to vote for. You, Orange, Orange, you? It's tearing me apart. It's fine, Plum. Vote for either Orange or me. Both are good choices. I think Orange would make a great Berry Fest princess. I know. So would you. I don't even know if I want to vote. Oh, my. This is very, very bad. <laughs> That's not what I want to say. Or that. Oh. No, I can do better than that. Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? <sighs> not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Here you're dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fest Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know, and we really need a Berry Fest princess. I know, but the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So, I think it's best if I drop out of the race. 
I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> Look. Great. How about mine? Wonderful. Huh? Hi, Hi Strawberry. Strawberry. I see you two are getting along. Mm-hmm. We realized we weren't getting anything done not working together. So we made a plan of how to work together. I do the posters my way. And I do the buttons my way. And then we both help each other hand out the buttons and hang up the posters. And most of all, we are both nice no matter what. That's the very best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> so good that it makes me want to write a speech about it. So, like I said, I believe in less planning and more doing. Hmm, more doing. Sounds good to me. Sometimes you just have to jump right in to get things done here in Berry Bitty City. And if you vote for me for Berry Fest Princess, you'll be voting for yourself. Well, actually not yourself, but me. But you know what I mean. I think it would be fun to be Berry Fest Princess. So vote for me! <laughs> Thank you, Orange Blossom, for that wonderful election speech. <laughs> and now, to hear from our second candidate, Strawberry <laughs> Shortcake. <laughs> I agree that being Berry Fest Princess will be fun, but it will also be hard work. And I'm ready for that. And I believe in more planning before doing. More planning. Sounds good. So I guess I don't agree with Orange on everything. But that doesn't mean that we don't get along. I was very confused by this election. I wanted to be Berry Fest Princess, but I also wanted my friend Orange to be too. So running against Orange made me confused. And I think it may be confusing a lot of you too. Oh. 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 Yeah. Then I realized that there are good reasons to vote for both of us. Different reasons. And so, everyone in Berry Bitty City has a chance to choose. And choosing isn't bad. Even though we have different opinions, we all get along. Just remember, no matter who you choose, we'll always, always, always be friends. No matter what. Yay! Yay! Now that we've heard the candidates' speeches, it's time to vote! <laughs> now remember, orange for orange and red for strawberry. We've voted, it's time to count the votes. Yeah! One for orange, one for strawberry, two for strawberry, two for orange. And the last vote is for orange. Five plus three, this is kind of going to carry the two, and, uh, Yes? We have a tie! A tie? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It definitely can't be a tie. As near as I can figure, somebody didn't vote. Oops. Sorry about that. In all the excitement, it must have slipped my mind. Can I vote now? 
I think you must, or we won't have a berry fest princess. I'm gonna be in the front of the parade. <laughs> And the Berry Fest Princess for this year is. <gasps> Strawberry Shortcake! Me? But, but. You voted for me? I know it would be fun to win, but, well, I, I thought it over, and my opinion is you would make the best Berry Fest Princess. That's right! Me! Actually, Orange and I decided that since both of you were such, uh, <laughs> good campaign managers, that you should both get to ride at the front of the parade. Both of us? Well, I get to ride in the front of the carriage. Uh-uh! <laughs> oh, well, I tried. You sure did. Morning, Postmaster. Oh, getting ready for your vacation, I see. Oh, feel the chill in that breeze. Yeah, not much summer left. We're trying to get going before it's over. Oh, I nearly forgot. Do you have anything for me today? Well, 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 well. <laughs> what have we here? <laughs> Now, that's either six dozen dried kidney beans, or... The maracas I ordered last week! Thank you, Postmaster! These are for our trip. When we get to Berry Breezy Bay Resort, they're gonna know we arrived! <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> well, have a wonderful trip, Ms. Pudding. Could it be that I'm forgetting? <laughs> Could it be this? <laughs> Delivery from Happy Pappy Snapapple Farm. Perfect! <laughs> Thank you. Now I can finish my Snappy Apple Apple Snacks. Would you like some? Oh, they're very good. Nope, can't. I'm on that new buttercup diet. <laughs> well, happy vacation. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like I'm there. <laughs> We're not there yet. We will be tomorrow. It's all I can think about. All I want to do is dance and dance. Oh, I can't wait to move into our perfect peach pink palace. <gasps> what do you think? I love it. And I'll be surfing those perfect azure wings. And me? I'm gonna be sunbathing under their perfect rows of coconut palms. And I am just gonna wanna sing. Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. A tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea. Watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Cause that's all day under the sun. Because we're sunshine girls. Tap your feet to the beat now. Sunshine girls. And jump up, move to the groove. Yeah. Sway to the left, strike the pose. Bounce, bounce, bounce like a beach ball. We're sun Sunscreen lotion check. Swimsuits check. Beach towels check. Second set of beach towels for when the first set's wet. Check. Uh oh. Wow, Orange. Are you ever organized? Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just the vacation checklist that I made. Whoa, look at you. I've hardly started packing and already I've forgotten more than I can remember. 
Well, like I always say, you can never be too organized. I mean, what if we got all the way to Berry Breezy Bay Resort and forget something really important? Good point. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a copy of your checklist that I could borrow, would you? Just so happens that the first item on my list was to make copies of the list for everybody. That's so She's very nice. nice. Here you go. Orange's official list of everything we need to bring. I even made a list of all the lists I made. Organization. That's the key to a happy vacation. Well, we better get busy. We've got a big day tomorrow. See you later. Better hurry. Everybody ready to go? Everybody check and double check their lists? Yep. There's nothing to do now but wait for the butterfly bus. According to the schedule, it should be here. Punctuality. That's the key to a happy vacation. Uh, I think I'll practice napping on the beach. I think I'll practice my nifty new surf move. It's called... <sighs> the snooze. <laughs> <laughs> I hear something coming! <laughs> no, just the breeze. delayed by bad weather. It just arrived. Oh, it's from the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. We are happy that you will be visiting us. <laughs> Next year? What are these hotel times from now? We regret to inform you the resort has been closed early due to very, very breezy weather. It must be a joke. But look, there's more. This is no joke. Sorry. I really had my heart set on Berry Breezy Bay. I could almost feel that peach pink sand between my toes. <sighs> oh, oh, maybe we could go to the mountains instead. Except it's kind of breezier there. Uh, there must be other resorts. Yes, I'll start researching them. Oh, great idea. I bet we can find something just like Berry Breezy Bay. Um, I'm afraid that won't work. Summer is just about over. There's no time to plan a whole new trip. Yep. True. Yeah. <sighs> there aren't going to be any sand castles in the peach pink sand. No surfing those perfect azure waves. And no sunbathing under the perfect rows of coconut palms. But why not? Why not? Because the whole island is closed. Who says we have to go to the island? What are we gonna do? Bring the island here? Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> if we can't go to the island, why don't we bring the island here? Do you know what she's talking about? Mm hmm. More or less. Mostly less. Here, let me show you. I'll build us a perfect copy of Very Breezy Bay Resort with a beach and palms and sand castles. But where? Right here, on the shore of Very Bitty Lake. It'll be like we're really there. But it'll be our own place, a place where everyone in Very Bitty City can vacation. Someday, we could even have guests, just like a real resort. I don't know, Orange. Do you think it's a bit ambitious? <laughs> yeah, it's maybe just a little itsy bitsy bit impractical, if not undoable. Sure, it's ambitious, impractical, undoable, and downright impossible. That's why I'm the one to make it happen. Just gonna take some good old fashioned hard work. Or sun shine across. Do -do 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 -do. Do you really think she can pull 
pull this off? It's going to be a whole lot of work. Maybe she's bitten off more than she can chew. I sure don't want her to be disappointed. Maybe she really can make it happen if we help her. What do you say, girls? We yeah, can let's let's do it, it together. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Can we help you, Orange? Well, let's see. Oh, why, yes. Yes, you can. Lemon, you help Eric and Bloom with palms. Blueberry, we need chairs over there. Plum, strawberry, we need a tropical menu. Raspberry, you work with Eric and Bill on the sand. Cherry, you start learning. Eve, come! Eve, come! One down, 2,000 loads to go. Hmm. This is more red than peach pink. Berry Breezy Bay is famous for its peach pink sand. See? What if we try adding some pink grapefruit juice to it? That might make it pinker. Good thinking, Strawberry. You and Lemon can... <gasps> oh, no. Um, no, 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 Cherry! The chairs go over here. Not too bad, I think, if I do say so myself. Not bad, but not perfect. It has to look exactly like the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. They are famous for their exact replica sand castle. Here, like this. But how do I... I mean, how can I... It's no big deal. All you have to do is tear this down and start all over. That's perfect! Just the right size for transplanting our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms. Um, where are our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms? Coming right up! I don't know how bitty they are, though. My Berry Bitty Plant Food is having a bit of trouble trying to bitty ice these big boys. How much trouble? Uh, let's just say they're smaller than big, but bigger than bitty. Uh, which could be good, depending. Depending on what? On how much shade you want. Let's bring one of them out! The smallest one, please! Maybe a little bit too much shade? I agree. Just another day or so, and I'll be able to grow them to very bitty size. All right, send it back to the nursery! <laughs> Breezy Bay. Well, we won't be able to call this Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Okay, team, let's try the wind machine. No, no, I can barely feel that. I want it to be a very big breeze. Try it again. Put a little more oomph into it. <laughs> your very best. But it was a very big project. Hmm? What were you saying? The resort? All that work? Blown away? Remember? I think 
figured out the problem. My first sketch was just plain wrong. I downloaded the plans for Berry Breezy Bay from the internet. Now I can make it exactly like the real thing. Of course, we're going to have to work really, really hard to build this. Teamwork, that's the key. Meet me in five minutes and I'll hand out your new assignments. She can't be serious. I can't build something like that. There's no way. She's just setting herself up for another disappointment. <sighs> I'll go talk with her. 19 and 20. Orange? Hi, Strawberry. Glad you came. You can help me start digging the foundation for the hotel. Cherry can help mix cement. Plum can put in the plumbing. Raspberry's got the window shades and wallpaper. Lemon can lay the floor. I'll do the roof. And Blueberry can... Blueberry can... Hey, where are Cherry and Plum and Raspberry and Lemon and Blueberry? We're on a tight schedule. They're, uh... Not coming. Why not? <gasps> What's wrong? Well, I think maybe you have the wrong blueprints. I do? <gasps> oh, no! <sighs> oh, for a minute there I thought I'd made a mistake or something. Nope, these are the plans, all right. The plans they used to build the real resort. See? Every detail is exactly, precisely the same as on Berry Breezy Island. The beach, the hotel, the chairs, the palms. But what about these? Oh, <laughs> those aren't any good. Oh, I think they are. Oh, come on. Just look. The details are all off. See that beach? Way too small. And the chairs? They're in the wrong place. And don't you think this is the most important detail? Huh? What detail? This. Right here. That's us having fun, having a great vacation together. Isn't that what matters most? Well, but... Wouldn't it be more fun with a big pink beach like this? And real palm trees like these? And... Um, I think what makes it fun is us being together. Having fun. Yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't been much fun. I guess I've been kind of bossy. We don't want to give up on helping you with your dream, but... You know, maybe we don't need a big pink beach. Maybe we don't need palm trees. What if we build a tropical paradise that's just right for us? <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea, Orange. And what if I try to have more fun building it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm? And Raspberry, build any kind of sandcastle you want. Just have fun doing it. <laughs> Oh, I have so many this is ideas. Be great. Come on, let's get going. exact shade of pink. Maybe the coconuts aren't in perfect rows, but mmm, they taste great in these pies. Who needs the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel when we have beach bungalows just right for us? Maybe it isn't exactly like that other place, but this is better because we built it together. Orange, will you do the honors? I'd be happy to. My friends, tomorrow Vacation begins! Welcome to our very own Berry Pity Resort! Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. Tropical 
paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance all day under the sun. Because we're sunshine girls. Tap your feet to the beat now. Sunshine girls. Jump up, move to the groove. Sway to the left. Chill out in style. There's so much to explore down on the ocean floor. Dive in and swim around for a while. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance all day under the sun. Because we're sunshine girls. Tap your feet to the beat now. Sunshine girls. Jump up, move to the groove. Sway to the left. Pretty good, don't you think? It's paradise, Orange. <laughs> Our very own tropical paradise. Because we're together, being with friends. That's the key. Yeah! <laughs> hey, look, everybody! Surf's up! Where's You're here early, Blueberry. Where's Huck? We're supposed to go to the post office together. Still waiting for a letter from Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine? I really hope they want to buy Huck's in my mystery story. I was sure it would come two days ago. <gasps> but it didn't. <laughs> then I was sure it would come yesterday. But it didn't. <laughs> so I'm positive it will come today. In fact, I believe I'll go down to the post office now. I just can't wait here any longer. It's too exciting! Come on, Scouty! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Anybody here? Oh! Blueberry! <laughs> you startled me. I was looking for my special delivery stamp. Oh, what can I do for you? Did a letter come for me, J.D. Bug? Blueberry, blueberry. <laughs> Silly me, I forgot. There was a letter for you. Was? It's on the way to your bookstore. Special delivery. On its way to... You're delivering it to... Come on, Scouty! Oh. <gasps> Excuse me. Wait! Come back! Uh, wait! Don't you have a letter for me? Special delivery? <laughs> what is it, Scouty? We have to catch that postal bee. Oh, the letter's been delivered. Thank you, Scouty. You knew where it was all along. It's from Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine. This is it, Scouty. Cross your fingers. I mean, toes. We regret to inform you that your mystery story is not what Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine is looking for at this time. Oh. oh, Blueberry, I am so, so sorry. The worst thing is that Huckleberry was counting on the help it would bring his home for homeless dogs. He so needed to sell that story. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> what a show off. <gasps> Pupcake huh? just gave me an idea. How to raise funds for Huckleberry's dog shelter. He did? We'll hold a dog show. We'll invite folks from Berry Betty Dale and Acorn Acres and all the neighboring towns. It could be a big hit, don't you think? Yeah! Want to be in a dog show, Scouty? <laughs> but what do you show in a dog show? Oh, it's easy. All you do is walk the dogs around on leashes for all to admire. And would fashions be allowed? Well, sure, I guess. Why not? I mean... I'm not saying, you know, everyone has to have them. Just wondering if I could... I mean, you all know Chiffon never goes anywhere not dressed for the occasion. <laughs> of course. Anyone who wants to can have fashions or not. They'll be optional. Excellent. <gasps> Chiffon, want to be in a dog show? <laughs> but a dog show must need doggy hairstyles, right? Sure, but only if you want. It's optional. I mean, grooming is nice, but not all dogs are hairstyle dogs. Well, of course. I wouldn't want to force a hairstyle on anyone it wouldn't work for. Hannah, this is going to be a sensation. You'll look like a star. <gasps> Just walk them in a circle? Certainly we can do better than that. What do you have in mind? Just... You know, trying them to do some special moves. Well, I guess it could be an optional thing. But that would look rather disorganized. I mean, if we're gonna have a really fabulous show, we should definitely have all the dogs doing more than just walking. Hmm. Hmm? Just some simple moves. Nothing too complicated. Simple moves? Oh, um... Okay, fine with me. Marmalade. We can come up with a little doggy dance step, can't we? Oh, Huckleberry, I'm sorry about our story. It's my fault. You wanted to write it in a more original way, and I pushed to make it like a Patty Persimmon mystery. <sighs> Don't worry. We'll submit our new mystery soon as we settle on an idea. That's the spirit. We can work on it as soon as we finish training. Training? For what? Strawberry decided we're going to have a big dog show to raise funds for your home for pets. Blueberry, that's fantastic. Wow, you girls are terrific. What do you think of that, Tom Tom? <laughs> Another rejected idea? Oh, so sorry, Bosley. I didn't see you there. I need a brainstorm. I'm all out of mystery ideas. Wait, I got it. The mystery of the disappearing mystery ideas. <laughs> <laughs> if you would welcome a suggestion, I've always liked the advice, write what you know. Not a bad idea. But is there anything mysterious going on in our quiet, normal lives? How about the mystery of where in the world did the floor go? <laughs> <laughs> okay, write what we know. Oh, I know this spot where my pet mobile got stuck. Not sure if there's anything mysterious about that, though. <laughs> it was for the barricades, remember? <laughs> That's right. They thought my seven dogs were a monster with seven noses. Hey, that would work. I've got it. A monster is terrorizing the berry patch. It has seven noses. 
And it slobbers all over. At night, it creeps into Berry Bitty City, looking for victims. Stealth Sleuth, Stan and Stacy. <laughs> I mean, Stan and Stacy. <laughs> Stan and Stacy, the stealth sloops. I mean, stealth sluice. So, never mind. Too much of a tongue twister. Gus and Betty? Kaylee and Kyle. On the case. That's it! Kaylee and Kyle and the mystery of the slobbering snuffler. I like it! supposed to be practicing for the show. <laughs> it's not playtime. This is very serious. <laughs> now let go. <laughs> you silly. Come back with that. not win the dog show, Pupcake. But that's okay, as long as we have fun. Sorry we disturbed story time, Blueberry. Oh, what are you reading today? A very big vacation. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. I'm sorry you missed story time. Blueberry led us a very big vacation. I'll tell you the story. And so Strawberry and her friends decided to go on a very big vacation. So everyone in Berry Berry City packed and left. It was real dark in the berry patch. But Kaylee and Kyle were on the case. They were going to get to the bottom of this monster mystery. When out of the bushes came a horrible sound. <gasps> Just like the legend warned. First, you hear the noise. Then you feel the heat of the rancid breath of seven noses. Then... The slobbering of seven tongues. <gasps> no! Its teeth were long and glistened in the moonlight. Beady eyes and 14 flaring nostrils. There is no escape from this monster in the berry patch. M monster in the berry patch? Why did we ever decide to visit Berry Bitty City? I thought you said it was peaceful here. Welcome to Berry Bitty City and the Marketplace Cafe. Would you like a table? No thanks. Lost our appetite. Huh? Can't get out of here fast enough. Do you know they have a monster in Berry Bitty City? It has seven noses and seven teeth and long tongues that glisten in the moonlight. I heard that the whole town is packing up and evacuating. My word, it's worse than we thought. Better steer clear of Berry Bitty City. That's it. You've got it. Looking good, Marmalade. Oh, hi, Huck. Hi, Blueberry. What you got there? We're mailing our new mystery story to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. Good for you. Good luck. Thanks. <gasps> oh! Uh, J.D. Bug, did you ever find your special delivery stamp? It's a mystery. It has completely disappeared. <clears throat> Pardon me, but, uh, is this it? It is! Where was it? Uh... Around. Uh, J.D. Bug, we have a package that needs that stamp. Oh! Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine! <laughs> Chin up. Let's strap our stuff. <laughs> that sweater is so style. So chicish. Oh, so you. <laughs> Okay, hey, Scouty, let's see what you can do. Good boy. 
Floyd. That's it. Now, how to get you to do the same thing without using the doggy biscuits? Hmm, a mystery indeed. Whoa, where are you going? Wait, slow down! Ouch! Where are you going? Whoa! Help! Whoa! Wait, I think if I go under and if you go over... Ouch! Hold on, Scouty! Stop pulling! Sorry, excuse me! What's going on? Oh, hi, Huck. Take a look at your competition. <laughs> wow. Plum and Pitter Patch are really advanced. I thought we'd just walk in a circle. We'll just have to practice harder. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. And hop, hop, hop. <gasps> Fantastic! Now, the rollover. That's it. That's not a rollover. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Come on, Chiffon. You can do it. Huh? Oh, no. You're scared. Oh, poor Chiffon. This just isn't going to work. Okay, here we go, Cinepop. Forget the walking in a circle plan. We've got a new strategy. You begin here and jump over this one, and then keep going over the next jump, and it's fun, see? Okay, showtime. Step lively. Hey! <laughs> I said showtime, not dig time. This will not win any ribbons. Cherry! What happened to you? Where's Cinepuff? At Lemons, having a bath. Turns out she's more interested in digging than show jumping. Show jumping? Who said anything about show jumping? Ah, uh, you'll see. At show rehearsal this afternoon. Our first rehearsal! Wow, nobody looks very excited. <sighs> For our next story, how about the mystery of who stole the fun out of the dog show? Shall I go first? Why not? Um, aren't you supposed to have a leash? Pitter Patch doesn't need one. He's so well trained. Waterworks? Who decided that? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? Oh, I'll get you guys. <laughs> Ladies, I don't know how I'm going to fix your hair. Such behavior. Rehearsal is not playtime. So embarrassing. And I bragged how Pitter Patch didn't need a leash. What a fool I made of myself. <laughs> Come on, admit it. We all had a very fun time. It was a great mud fight. I guess I forgot it was supposed to be a dog show and not a plum show. Sorry, guys. I think it's time to let dogs be dogs and Plum be Plum. Plum be Plum. I, I mean, me be Plum. I mean, Plum be me? I mean, what do you mean? I was thinking, let's have an opening dance number in the dog show and you solo in it. After all, you are the star dancer. Really? I could be the star? And so the rest of us could just walk in a circle? Exactly. 
And how about we lose the water sprays? Oh, that's a very good idea, Strawberry. Great job! The dog show is going to be a smashing success. Look, Strawberry, huh? I made these fabulous, fantastic, chic hats. The dogs are supposed to keep those on during the show? <laughs> no, they're for us. Oh, for us. That's very nice, Raspberry. Girls, oh, this is terrible. What's going on, Orange? I haven't sold one ticket. What? I don't think one person from out of town is coming to our show. We sent out flyers, didn't we? We did. I gave them to Jittybug. Well, what about everyone from town? Oh, my. When Blueberry gave me all those flyers and asked me to mail them to everyone out of town, I... I... Oh, my. I forgot to mail them to everyone in town. So, no one, no one in Fairy Pity City but we, us, knows there's even a... I mean, nobody even knows there's a dog show? Do you think we have time to sell tickets to everyone in Berry Bitty City? Not if all the Berrykins already left for the Berry Big <gasps> Berrykin picnic. <laughs> well, did they? Did they? What? Did the Berrykins all go on a picnic? They did. Oh. Well, we can't have a dog show with no one to, you know, show to. What will we tell Huckleberry? The show was supposed to raise funds for his home for homeless pets. <sighs> I can't imagine what happened. Not one ticket sold. Neither can I. It's a mystery. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hello? Yes, this is Blueberry speaking. What? Mr. Toad Simmons? You're the editor of Berry Pity Mysteries? Uh, that's great. Really? As I said, I'm thrilled with the fresh and new voice of this mystery. And such a clever setting. A dog show. However did you come up with it? So inspired. I love it. You do? I have to say, that first submission of yours, well, it reminded me of a Patty Persimmon mystery. And I've so been there, read that. Uh, so I'm over the moon to find something so original. We'll publish it next month. Well, that is, if you are still willing to sell it. Yes! Yeah! I can't believe we did it! <laughs> we Great did it job, together, Just got a brainstorm. Kaylee and Kyle and the ballet slipper thief. No! I can't go on. My ballet slipper. It's been stolen. Help me. Don't worry, ma'am. Swan Lake will not be your swan song. Kyle and Kaylee are on the case. Now that we've tackled batter basics and basics of very flawless baking, I am certain you are prepared for today's class, creative cupcaking. <laughs> are you ready to cupcake? Yeah! Let's do it! Woohoo! on! I've got our ingredients, flour, sugar, baking powder, all this fresh strawberry jam. So let the baking begin! Very creative. Orange is putting mint leaves and chocolate chips in her batter for a mint chip cupcake creation. I'm putting real bits of strawberry in my cupcake to make it extra moist and tasty. How about you, Lemon? I'm replacing some of the oil in mine with applesauce. Adds flavor. Mmm, <laughs> an apple fragrance. Mmm. Blueberry, how are you being cupcake creative today? I'm adding ground zucchini. <laughs> Well, I read about it in a cupcaking blog. It's good. It'll taste like nuts and cinnamon. I oh, promise. Hey, what's that? I wonder what's going on. I don't know. <gasps> hey, look! What is it? I have no idea. Oh, It's just a little something I call 
the Sparkle Straw Water Pine Berry. Wow! I was tinkering with some pollen, you see, and selecting seeds, and oh, I don't want to bore you. Anyway, would you like a taste? Yes! Yes! Goodness, we're all right then. Everyone step up. Here you go. Here's a glass. And one for you. Uh, pass this one down, won't you? Uh, carry on. Yes, there's another. Enjoy. Mmm, it's delicious. It tastes like kind of a, I don't know, maybe watermelon, grape, no, oh, strawberry, and yes, pineapple. I've never tasted anything like it. Oh, and it's a scent sensation. I've got to fashion a fragrance after it for my salon. Oh, Princess Berry Kid, uh, please try some. Ahem. <clears throat> this Sparkle Straw Water Pine Berry is the finest achievement in berry culture I have ever witnessed. To mark this occasion, I hereby declare tomorrow Berrican Bloom Day with a ceremony in his honor. <laughs> oh, bye. Oh, oh. Why, thank you. It's really hardly necessary. It's the least we can do, Barrack and Bloom. After all you do for us. When plants get sick, you always figure out a way to make them better. And where would we be without your berry bitty veggies? It's all part of my job. Oh, well, it's a lovely gesture, I suppose. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I must tend to my bitty orchard. Humble. Which means it'll be all the more fun to surprise him with something really nice on his special day. Ooh, what a great idea! What can we do that would be very special? Well, I'll ask Plum to help me decorate the gazebo. And I'll bet Sherry could handle the music. Wow, Raspberry, that's a great idea. Perfect, Raspberry. I love it. But what about the rest of us? We need to do something really special. I know. Let's each make him a cupcake. We can make them with the delicious flavors from all the fruits he grows. Oh, that'll be fun. That's perfect. Great idea, Strawberry. Let's get back to baking. Barrack and Bloom supplies all the Berry Bitty produce for my store, so I want to make him the most special cupcake ever. Now, how to make this cupcake special for Barrack and Bloom? Oh, I know! I'll fill the cupcake with a tablespoon of delicious strawberry jam. Oh, no! My jam! Where'd it go? Cupcake? Oh, those were all the jars I had. Oh, you're gonna have a tummy ache for sure. And I'm gonna have to restock all the jam in my cafe. Hello? Orange! Just a minute! <coughs> oh, Orange? Are you all right back there? I'm fine! I'm just making my cupcake. Oh, okay. I need some strawberry jam. Help yourself! Thank you! Anytime, Strawberry, and... Oh, my. I was gonna put some in my cupcake, but I was completely out. Back to the kitchen I go. Um, um. It's me, Marmalade. Um. <laughs> oh, bless you. Hmm, with all that jam, Strawberry must be making an enormous cupcake. Well, I can match that. Uh, 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 Hi, Orange. Do you mind if I borrow some... sprinkles? Uh, sure. Uh, help yourself. Uh, I'm gonna get back to my cupcake. Uh, 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 are you okay? <coughs> I, uh, I'm fine. <coughs> Oh. 
got some major rethinking to do. Blueberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. What's new? Um, not much, I guess. Except you're dragging around a giant banana. It's for my cupcake. Your cupcake? Why don't you just use a bitty banana? I mean, you can't fit all that banana into a little cupcake. Who said anything about a little cupcake? You mean, exactly how big is your cupcake going to be? I don't know, but Orange is making a huge one. She's using bags and bags of flour. Oh, you must have just misunderstood. Look at my cupcake. It's normal sized. I'm sure she's baking one just like it. After all, how much cupcake can Barrican Bloom eat? Hi, guys. How about the cupcake I made for Barrican Bloom? Bouncing boysenberries, Orange. That's very gigantic. I know. <laughs> Isn't it great? Great? That's the hugest cupcake I've ever seen. Well, don't you think Barrack and Bloom deserves the most special cupcakes we can bake? Did someone mention my name? Yeah. Let's hide. It's Barrack and Bloom. Ah, there you are, Miss Strawberry. Oh, <laughs> yep, here we are. Doing uh, nothing secret at all. That's right. Uh, not at all. We <laughs> have nothing to hide. Did you ladies need me for something? I thought I heard my name. Nope, not me. Uh, not at all. Nuh-uh. Uh, you must have been someone else. Have a lovely day. Well, then, I suppose I'll be on my way, too. That is a very fine banana you have there, young lady. A very fine banana, indeed. Taking it out for some exercise. Come along, Waldo. Time to finish your walk. I never thought of exercising the produce. Or naming it. Hmm. I suppose Waldo is a lovely name for a banana. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so long. See you around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was too close. He almost found out our surprise. We've got to keep him away. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Keep him busy, I guess. But we're all too busy to keep him busy. We are, but I know someone who isn't. Wait, you want me to what? Just keep Barrack and Bloom busy. We can't let him see us making cupcakes. It'll spoil the surprise. We need a diversion. A diversion? That's a fancy way of saying distraction or keeping him busy. But... How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Think of something. You're both guys. Why don't you do guy things? Guy things? I don't know. Like what? You're the guy. Figure it out. Hello there. <gasps> Here he comes now. A very fine day to you, young ladies. Why, Mr. Huckleberry, what brings you to town? Uh, guy things. Like, uh, running. <laughs> and shouting. Ah! What in the world? Oh, my stars! What an unexpected development! Well, that seemed kind of extreme. I hope Eric and Bloom will be okay. Sure he will. He's a guy. They like that stuff. What matters is that he's not around to see our cupcakes. About those cupcakes. Yes, about those cupcakes, Orange. That one you made was huge. That's right, and it wasn't that big. And I'm not going to make Barrack and Bloom just any old cupcake. He deserves something special. Yes, but what's important is... What's important is that if you make a huge cupcake, ours will seem kind of bitty in comparison. Good point. But really... All I know is that I'm not skimping on mine. <sighs> Well, it's up to you what kind of cupcake you want to make. But just remember, uh, there are a lot of things that make a cupcake great. Don't well, I... then, I'm going to have to redo mine. For Maybe example, I can team up with the Plum. Or a well, cake. if Blueberry's Nor making a bigger the cupcake, cake, too, then mine will be bigger, so. too. And the presentation. Oh, no. I have a feeling this is going to be the very biggest, very baddest bake-off ever. There. My friends might be 
be baking colossal cupcakes, but I'm sure Barrack and Bloom will be more than happy with this one. Won't he? Oh, maybe orange is right, Pupcake. Barrack and Bloom is special, so he deserves a really special cupcake. But how can I make a more special cupcake without getting carried away? Oh. <laughs> you may not have all the answers, but you sure are cute. <laughs> hey! That's it! I'll make a Pupcake Cupcake. <laughs> It'll be the cutest cupcake you've ever seen. Stay right there. Okay, now stay still. Oh, you're right, Pupcake. It's not what I had hoped for. But you didn't really help by moving around so much. <laughs> oh, now what am I going to do? <coughs> of course! Oh, Custard! Please come back. It'll be fun! There! Now that's the perfect cupcake. Just one last touch. <laughs> Whoa! What do you think? I had to change my recipe to make it this big. But isn't it the most special cupcake you've ever seen? All it needs is this cherry and... Oh, I must have had too much plaster. Plaster? Well, I don't know how to make it delicious and bigger and stronger all at once. <gasps> hey! You guys are good with tools. Maybe you can help me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I never baked anything before with plaster. <clears throat> I got four words for you. Frosting licking. Can me you! Yes. So that activity is what you would refer to as zip lining? Wasn't it fun? Uh, well, I... Uh... It's just one of the many activities in the, uh, gentlemen's diversion club. Yeah. Goodness, Mr. Huckleberry. This club seems quite rough and tumble. Only the roughest and tumblest for gentlemen like us. Uh, now, when was this club established? It's after me! Ah! It's very old and established. We better keep diverting. I know another diversion, which I know you'll enjoy. To the lake! Yeah! <laughs> the lake. What a wonderful suggestion. I can't think of a more tranquil spot to sit back and marvel at the glory of nature all around us. Yet still, I can't help but wonder why my feet are strapped to these boards. Oh, I knew he'd love water skiing. Looking good, Barrican Bloom. <laughs> well, you were anyway. Okay, another diversion. Think. I know. Are you certain that this is enjoyable? As enjoyable as anything else I could all of a sudden think of. Have fun! Okay, 
Now tackle me. Tackle you? I'm not even sure I know how to go about that. Is this necessary for the gentleman's diver diversion club? Yes, very necessary. <laughs> oh. Uh, ah, do whoa, whoa, do whoa. Oh dear. I I do hope that wasn't too extreme. Are you all right? I'm fine. Cherry, just an hour to go till the big ceremony. All I need to do is put up a few more, you know, streamers, balloons, and more streamers, and then what in the very bitty world? I thought you guys were just making regular old cupcakes. But this, a giant beehive? A circus? A volcano? Well, the lava is strawberry jam, and the rocks are sugar. At least it should taste good. How could you all get so carried away? Well, I tried making a pupcake cupcake, but that didn't work. Then I tried a custard cupcake, and, well, that didn't work either. So uh, one thing led to another, and... Oh, perhaps I've lost my focus on what's important here. Ready to see the most special cupcake? Bring it in, boys! you even build it? I had a little help from Ed and Earl. Yep. <laughs> and we used only the finest spare parts and lumber, plus 50 yards of fencing wire. I, uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't taste the cake part. Oh, but the frosting's delicious. And wait till you see this. Guys? <laughs> Isn't this the best cupcake you've ever eaten? What's wrong with it? I don't know! Well, how come there's a fork in a gearbox? Uh, cause I was all done eating frosting. Look out! It's going out of control! <laughs> Let's work together to clean this mess up. Yeah! There we go. Good as new. So sad. <laughs> but at least I can still smell cupcakes. Cupcakes? Oh, dear. Never much cared for them. I'm more of a fruit and veggie man myself. Bear can bloom. Huckleberry, what... What happened to you? Well, it's like this. You see... We were jumping in mud puddles, and then we got kind of lost all night, and then we wandered into a brambleberry thicket, and... Oh! The ceremony's starting! You better get up there! The royal rutabaker. I am deeply honored, Princess Mary Kit. And I am honored and full of gratitude to have this day named after me and, and this park. Oh, I... I've never seen this park so clean. However, I must say, the last day has been most unusual. Most unusual indeed. I'm not certain why I was invited into the Gentleman's Diversion Club, uh, but it has been the best 24 hours of my life. <laughs> oh, come here, you. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> 